that deer can cause a lot of damage in the garden, but they can also cause a lot of damage to young trees that are trying to get established, especially during a rut. Rut is the mating season that occurs in October through late winter time. And during this season, what's happening is initially they're trying to rub off the velvet off of their new summer antlers. And so they tend to look for trees that are about one to three inches in diameter to then rub their antlers on and, and get that velvet off. And you can see here behind me, I have a spruce pine and it's got that damage, that classic damage of that rubbing. Usually it's a vertical scraping um, that you'll see. The other thing too is a lot of times the deer do this as a territorial sign to other bucks in the area that they're trying to create a dominance for that space. But the problem is, is this can cause real damage to your younger trees. You can see this tree did suffer, it did die um, because of this damage. And in fact, it's because it actually rubbed all the way around the whole diameter, the whole circumference of our tree. And so in essence, it girdled it because it doesn't allow for any of that water or the nutrients um, to go through the vascular system that's just below that bark. So unfortunately, we've lost our pine tree here, um, but there are sometimes other circumstances circumstances where you might not lose the whole tree. It just depends on the tree and also upon the damage or the amount of damage. So we have an example of a um, atlas cedar that actually lost the top out of it, but because it had lower branches, it was still able to photosynthesize. So instead of a tree, now unfortunately we have a shrub, but it at least is something in our landscape. We also have another example of some deer damage um, that occurred on our blue spruce. And in that case, the damage occurred to the main leader. However, there was a side branch that was still there and is still viable. And so it kind of created dominance over that tree. And so it in fact looks like a tree from a distance, a regular blue spruce tree. But if you look at it a little bit closer, you'll notice that the main leader has been damaged and needs to be taken out. So it just really depends on what type of tree you're dealing with and how much damage is done. Now, the best way is to kind of prevent any damage from happening in the first place. But how do you do that? I know deer can be kind of elusive to some of our techniques, but one of the best ways to try to mitigate some of that damage is by putting some stakes around your tree. Of course, being careful not to put it too close to the root ball but put some stakes around the tree and then also install some chicken wire around those stakes. So that sort of texture will just keep those deer from really pressing up against some of those trees. And you want to make sure that you're doing this during rut, October through late winter. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.